Oh, hello everyone. <laughs> we are the Practical Advantage Communications Team, also known as the Agency Team. And we're going to speak to you today of what we did this semester. My name is Sherlina. I'm Leslie. And I'm Christine. So first, Leslie's going to talk about the background of everything here. Okay? Yeah, so I'm glad to have you all here today because you guys are our main audience this <laughs> semester. And I'd like to just go over some of the few things that we've been working on this semester. Um, starting it off with our background, and that is that Practical Advantage Communications has been growing strong for about five years now. And it was founded in 2011 by Dr. Swanson and Professor Evanow. Dr. Swanson. Oh, Dr. Swanson, I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and so Practical Advantage is located here at the Irvine campus. It's also a collaborative effort between our comm students and faculty members. We are one of two capstones available, and this serves as a capstone for either advertisement, entertainment and tourism studies, or public relations students. The main focus for this agency is to be able to implement ad advertising campaigns, as well as events and p public relations activities. And through this, you get the chance to work with local or nonprofit businesses. Uh, we also improve, or we also provide services that involve strategic communications planning, social media development, and also event planning. And those are just some to name a few. We do have a long list of services we provide. Through our campaign, we were able to analyze our whole situation and campaign through the SWOT analysis. And SWOT analysis is a planning method in order to gain a critical look at the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that we have had. As an agency, we recognize that the strengths within our work is that we were able to build strong relationships, or the strong relationships have been built throughout the years with faculty, students, and clientele. We have also realized that the students who take this course are able to use all of the software provided, and we are here in this facility that is available to us whenever we do need it for our work, as well as being able to meet with uh, individual agency teams twice or more a week. So whether you meet here or you meet on our main campus, there's always that chance and that ability to interact with your team members. For weaknesses, we did realize that there is a lack of awareness of this course and in terms of being able to fill a third class up. So for now, we do have two classes available Tuesdays, Thursdays, and one just on Thursdays. And so that is one weakness that we realized we had. And we also thought that the fact that we're only available here at the Irvine campus is also something that's a barrier to students. Um, sometimes it, it proves to be an inconvenience having to, if you're thinking that you're going to main campus and then you have to be driving back and forth to Irvine. And also the fact that we have some weak ties with the Practical Advantage alumni. We don't see them very often um, and we don't communicate with them as often as we probably should. And also, there is a very big weakness in the form of sometimes our communications 474, which is this capstone course, isn't available on the CSUF course catalog yearly. So the fact that it isn't provided in that catalog is a barrier <coughs> because students aren't realizing that this is an option for them. In terms of opportunities, we do have the, our website where we can showcase our members and also some of the work that they have been providing throughout the semester. We also have a lot of room for improvement considering this is a relatively new course and we're building upon it and trying to get, gain more engagement with the students. <coughs> we also found our main opportunity in the form of our graduation stoles, which you can see us sporting today. And this way, we're able to represent the hard work that we've been performing throughout the semester. We also have a few different opportunities in the form of if there's a successful campaign, there's always a chance of getting a letter of recommendation at the end. 
There's also our on-campus Titan PR pu student-run public relations firm, which can be a joint effort in excelling our different skills and abilities to be PR, advertising, or entertainment tourism professionals. And so this could be somewhat of a working together aspect in order for students to become more active in their concentration. And also, we have the rebranding of social media, which we try to keep everything very cohesive so that students are able to find practical advantage and really delve into what it is looking like and what it should represent and how they can make themselves a part of it. In terms of threats, we did see that maybe the change up of teams every semester affects the way that the agency works and it's dynamic because there could be clients that are used to a certain work ethic and then that work ethic has to shift on to bigger and better things maybe. And in terms of a low budget, we do we are working on that cost recovery system and so we don't have a budget to really work on that can really help all of the agency team. And also the lack of social media engagement by the actual students and past students as well, so the alumni. So once again, we saw the main opportunity in our campaign to be able to sell these graduation stools for every student that has uh, crossed practical advantage communications paths since last fall. And we decided to use the social exchange theory, thinking that if we provide these stoles for the students, you guys as a whole can then be able to show an emblem that represents the hard work and all the perseverance you've had throughout the semester. And so for us to create this stole for you guys would be our main focus and what we would like to provide for you in the end of our campaign, at the end of our campaign. Our core problem, problems at first were that we noticed an inconsistency with social media usernames and passwords, so that became a little bit difficult to kind of build upon because we needed to kind of change passwords, be able to log in and work with the whole consistency idea. We did have a lack of communication between the past and current students, um, which I mentioned earlier, and we saw that as a problem in terms of being able to elaborate on the work that we're performing and also the inability to purchase our stoles from the Titan Bookstore, which apparently had been done before, and once we tried to do this, it wasn't an option, and so that became an obstacle for us. And also the lack of social media engagement, once again, with our students currently and those that have been in the past. And our overall, the number four is our overall problem, is the fact that we really do need to engage with our students and the way that we can do that is through social media. And then our key audience are students that are just like all of you, um, those that are in the advertising, entertainment, PR world and concentration. And so our messages go along the lines of being able to provide the resources to build upon your professional career and be able to showcase that work to potential <coughs> employers in the future, as well as this serving as a capstone course overall for each of your concentrations. And now I'm gonna pass it along to Christine, and she's going to speak to you all about some of the goals and strategies, all that fun stuff that we have been performing throughout the semester. Thank you, Leslie. Well, uh, first of all, hello, future graduates. We have five more days here, so we'll move to that. Hopefully you guys purchased your stoles. <laughs> um, so let's just go ahead and dive in. Leslie went over the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, the threats, uh, we're gonna tell you kind of what we had in mind this semester, what we wanted to accomplish. And our first goal was to, as Leslie kind of um, brushed upon, is to spread the awareness of practical advantage communications. With about 38,000 students enrolled this spring semester, we wanted to have a realistic and achievable goal. So with that in mind, we wanted to kind of focus on you guys. You guys have been working hard all semester, so we kind of wanted to showcase um, any updates, any posts that you guys want us to have on your Clients. And with the 16 week time frame, we felt, strongly felt that a 10% increase was the most measurable because if we kind of go a little bit higher, it would be unrealistic and not achievable at all. So we went with a 10% increase. Sorry. So, how do we achieve this goal of spreading awareness? 
So as we saw in the other slides, social media. We read an article while doing our research in Forbes that 91% of adults keep their smartphones within reach. Um, I don't know about you, but I always look at my phone every five minutes. I work at a radio station, so I'm always checking my email, always checking school emails, what about graduation? So we wanted to go ahead and post three times a week because we do know that um, students and the staff and kind of the older generation are always checking their phones. My aunt's on Facebook posting things that I don't know, recipes and stuff. So we felt that three times a week would be enough, not too much, not too little. Uh, we also wanted the content to be resourceful and relatable content. So oftentimes you'll see like ads or stuff or spam, but we wanted to post things like um, quotes or what's going on campus, pictures of you guys, pictures of, um, not just pictures, but like graphics of how to purchase stoles, stole information, which we'll show you in a bit. So in order to do that, we use a social media calendar that Leslie put together, that we all kind of added our ideas together uh, based on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook three times a week, as well as Hootsuite occasionally to schedule posts because sometimes this, we also have a lot of classes and a lot of homework going on, so Hootsuite was a wonderful resource. And then also evergreen content because we feel like it's timeless and it will definitely alleviate <coughs> creative content for future prac um, agency teams who kind of feel in a rut and don't know what to post. So this is kind of a look of what we had in mind. So if you guys are ever on Google Drive looking at other people's folders, this is what <laughs> we had. Um, so Valentine's Day, President's Day, um, Hump Day, because Wednesdays are kind of rough for students. So we kind of had like what we posted um, the visual graphics, so like Valentine's was the sunset and the heart. If you guys like that one, if you guys follow us, I recommend you follow us. <laughs> In addition to spreading awareness, we also wanted to, as you can see, purchase these wonderful grad schools for you guys because you've all worked so hard with your clients and it's important to represent Gradcom at graduation just because we're awesome and we worked really hard and you guys could have done another capstone class that was like really easy. So our objective for that was to purchase a minimum of 40 schools. Um, based on the amount of comm students per semester, we felt that 40 was a realistic number, because if we wanted to order like 100, we might walk away with only 30 of you buying schools. So we decided to go with the number 40, just based on like summer students, fall students, and spring students. So we achieved this by, again, social media presence. Uh, we went heavy on posting three times a week, Posting helpful information, so like, there's a graphic that we posted about you can pay by cash, Venmo, check. Um, we also wanted to, again, showcase you guys. So some of you posted, sent us pictures for us to post, so we're thankful for that you guys sent that to us. Um, and then real-time marketing, so just engaging with people, liking back, following, retweeting, nothing inappropriate like your retweet to win tickets, but just like, you know, retweeting PR content, um, stuff going on with school, so like, if there was an emergency drill or anything like that, spring break, we wanted to make sure that we kind of had you guys in the know. Um, and then developing stronger ties with the future prad, um, comm students. So we did that by utilizing SurveyMonkey, which you guys have all thankfully participated in. So that has helped us a lot, just because some of them don't go to school here anymore and it's on the internet and we feel like you guys are attractive on there. And then also Google Forms, so somewhat similar to SurveyMonkey. And then also, lastly, we also utilize the website, which is very pretty, and I really like it a lot. It has all of our photos up there. And then also Venmo, because when I think about college and payment, it's just like, I'll Venmo you. Because <laughs> people, you know, like, you don't have cash on you, so it's just like, hey, I'll Venmo you. That's what I think about college. And then also this capsule course. So just kind of some examples of what we had. So on the holidays for social media, again, the sense in the heart, um, Easter and President's Day, we utilize apps such as Over and Viscocam just to keep the social media um, refreshing and just keeping creating content that was interesting. And then quotes. So um, Leslie put together some wonderful graphics here. So everything you do or say is public relations, which I really liked. And then just some uplifting things. So like work until you no longer have to introduce yourself, which hopefully you all would encourage that. And then some campus shots, so midterms week, um, the pretty flowers on the main campus, um, and then the, the entrance. Um, and then some course activities, so you guys presenting your proposals, 
as well as working with Swanson, sharing ideas, going over what he has to share and whatnot. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, struggling during my training to show re reality. <laughs> and there's some off-campus inspiration just for aesthetic. Um, this was taken relatively last week, just to kind of remember, you know, like, go get a latte and drip. We have one approach for that and some books just to, like, and then what we're talking about, like resourceful and helpful content, we posted some about stool promotions and awareness, so letting you guys know that you guys can vote. Um, the wonderful book that Swanson shared with us that I really want to read before I become a big girl and get a real big girl job. And then about, um, again, accepting grad students. And these are just some icons of what we utilize. So Google Forms, um, that's new Instagram logo, if you guys are caring about that or not. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Hootsuite, SurveyMonkey, just wonderful tools that will help us excel uh, with our social media presence. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it to Shalina. We'll talk about our resources and whatnot. So as, um, thank you, Spain. <laughs> as we talked about before, we did use our resources what we had. So SurveyMonkey was what we already had. We used that for stoles. We used our Google Docs document to kind of put everyone's name down for for graduation stills, for um, social media wise, we used Hootsuite when we couldn't post at a certain time, we've used that. So because Practical Advantage already have those materials, we use them diligently and we took advantage of that. Um, but however, we did use a new resource that we purchased this year, or this semester, was our step and repeat. You guys all stood in front of a beautiful step and repeat. Um, we just purchased and that's the reason why we did that was, well, we could use that for future reference, for future things, like future team pictures and future events that we did, like our Calm Week events and things like that. Just something that we could use in the future, and that's why we did that. And then, so how do we do this? We really use our calendar. So what we decided to do was use a Gantt timeline. The reason why we use a Gantt timeline was because it, we had 16 weeks, so we had a time frame, and we, had our tasks to do, and we said, okay, then what are we gonna use? So the Gantt, the Gantt timeline was helpful because we saw what we were doing at the same time, how long it's going to take. This is a rough outline of how we're going to um, achieve this goal of the social media preference, or presence, and also our graduation So this is just an example of what it looked like. And so this is what we use since we focus on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and then Twitter. Um, we use our social media calendar to kind of use, as Christina said, that we wrote what we wanted, created the visuals, and we posted it up via Hootsuite or via ourselves, and we did that. So it's the same image with somewhat the same um, caption on all three. So everyone who comes visit the Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you see a similar um, consistency. And if you see them talk about our success really quickly. So um, time for evaluation success. We, after kind of analyzing and measuring our success, we declared it a success. Just because the 10% increase, we went beyond that. And also, not just 40, 40 souls were purchased, 55 of you purchased souls, which is really awesome because, again, representing our brand at commencement and just kind of building the brand of Pradcom Communications. So just to kind of show you um, numbers and statistics of how much we grew this semester, take a look here. So on Facebook, not our strongest, but we went from 401 to 412 likes. That's a 2.74 increase. And then um, on Twitter, we went from 440 followers to 531. And lastly, for Instagram, we had our biggest increase, which was from 97 to 153 followers. So hopefully, you guys are part of the statistic that one of you followed or liked or whatever. Um, and then the stoles, 55 grad stoles were sold, not just 40. So I think that this is considered a success. So that's three out of four. That's 75 percent. We got to see. We passed. <laughs> so make sure to tell people to follow Hitsu of Crab Guy. It's still never going to stop. And then Shirley will talk about suggestions for the future brand. So we, so the thing about
about um, our agency team, we it doesn't stop here. It's there's always going to be an agency as long as practical advantage exists. So what we thought was, well, we should have a little bit more evergreen content. We only did the we only did some holidays that we encountered, but we haven't encountered Christmas or we haven't encountered um, Fourth of July yet. So maybe we can do something like that in the future. Create more quotes, more um, things to kind of motivate our students in that way. Also, when you're when we're signing up for new platforms, make sure we use the same email. Um, so consistency of that, using the same email, using similar or the same um, username if it's available. Also we thought, well since we're designing the grad stoles, maybe keep that similar too, the same next year. So have our logo, have PRAD on it, and just consistency throughout the year. Not product practice. <laughs> Also, we found that our way of purchasing stoles was a little difficult. Um, we, it wasn't our ideal, because our ideal was going to the bookstore, buying at the bookstore, and having the, trans the transaction there. Or uh, because the bookstore, it didn't happen. We couldn't, just do, we couldn't do it this semester anymore. So how we did it was a little difficult. You collecting all the money, and then we purchasing it, and then we give it back to you. It gave a little bit of a um, hassle for us and for you to kind of, for me, chasing you down, or hey, are you gonna buy one? But, so maybe another way to um, purchase the grass stoles, and that's something that we can think about in the future. And that's the end of our presentation, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it.